welcome to subramani i'm going to uh, reply to some of the uh, comments which people have on my channel so let me start by saying if you hear me saying i don't know i actually mean i don't know right i can easily say oh i think it's the greatest time to be putting money in a small cap fund but i do not know whether the recipient uh, is investing for one year 10 years 20 years right my answer is going to be different you, i don't know any clue about your risk taking ability i can only tell you what i have done i cannot get into saying oh this fund is doing well this company is doing well yes company could be doing well like on a monday morning when you are watching it uh, maybe that was my view on uh, thursday but this monday maybe i have sold it so when i sell it if i am not going to tell you it's none of my business as to tell you where when i buy it right i can tell you these are shares which are there in my portfolio for a long time but to say where what to buy now or what to sell is not something which i should do which i can do nor which i am authorized to do so you will not find definitive answer saying do this i i can say this is what it looks like this is what you should do what i think you should do right it's not i am not forcing myself on you now here is a person anil prasanna who says uh, this is the best time to lock in money for 10 years at 7.5% fd interest from state bank of india um, the future interest rates will be lower uh, if i survive 10 years then i can worry what to do with my money which would have doubled uh, 7.5% uh, state bank of india is good money i still get offers at 9.5% good banks uh so i don't know so first of all uh, in my youtube channel uh, people can come and say whatever they want whether to take it how much to take it is up to you prasanna feels that uh, anil prasanna feels that this is a good time to be investing in uh, uh, bank fixed deposit be my guest i am sure there are better options available i don't invest so i don't know but i have some bank deposits but my bank deposits don't depend on the interest rate uh i love that be yourself your social connections are helpful and eye opener thank you uh i saw your blog for the first time in 2008 but did not read much but after burning a lot of money in the gfc crash i still remember vividly reading all your blogs up to date etc etc so next 5 6 years learn learn so much from your blog my current financial knowledge is completely because of your blogs read your book uh read your book and gifted it to 10 people thank you uh, gudipat gudipati navin yeah navin gudipati right so thank you very much uh i am one of your international followers from indonesia so suddenly i have got uh, people saying i follow you from indonesia i follow you from uk i have no clue whether these are non residents staying there or whether these are locals there because for the locals i do nothing all my examples are in terms of rupees and i say maruti tata motors hdfc bank i don't give international examples apologies about that but i largely cater to an indian audience wherever they are staying largely that's what i think but generally what is behavioral finance well you can be a, you can be from nepal you could be from bangladesh you could be, be from pakistan the, those things don't really change uh please going please keep going i'm one of those persons who have benefited a lot from your videos your videos are an eye opener in the field of finance you also helped me in other areas my only regret is i came to know about your blog very late etc etc and therefore so uh, appreciate what you are doing for society and all that look i'm having fun doing this right uh, if somebody in the society is benefiting that's great but i'm not here to go and tell the uh tell the regulator what he should do or what she should do right those are not things my area because a lot of people tell me why don't you tell the regulator this and that i have no idea of why i am not doing that i am very clear that i don't even want to be in any public space the only public space i want to be is on my videos on uh, my blog if i as and when i start it uh, maybe by writing books i'll come i'll reach you but other than that i don't want i am not on the board of any company i am not on the board of any mutual fund i i am not part of any sebi committee sub committees nothing i have no public role i realized by talking to all those people that a lot of um, personal finance has to be taught to people uh, and every regulator every regulator head who i have met say looks at my face and says we should do something about uh, uh, public finance uh, or rather financial literacy and i have said yes we must do something and after that nothing has happened 
so i'm not too much keen to do that public role kind of stuff i'm very happy with my videos wherever it reaches please increase the number of subscribers please share it with more people right so if you do that and share it and people benefit that's great i don't think um, i'm at an age and uh, stage of life where i want to get into public life doing this right this is public enough am i going to go around the country talking about this if i find a sponsor maybe yes maybe no but that is not my calling my calling is very simple if i can reach you through video that's good enough uh, otherwise my life is fine i don't need to do this i do this just because i'm having fun uh, gives me some visibility it's good fun to have some visibility right so then uh, swp kich type ke fund se karna chahiye rahega वीडियो कृपा करके कीजिए राइट सो यू शुड डू एस डब्ल्यू पी वेन यू आर डूइंग एस डब्ल्यू पी पोस्ट रिटायरमेंट आई मीन आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट योर इनकम एज शॉप दैर फॉर यू नीड द मनी देन यू डू शुड डू एन एस डब्ल्यू पी फ्राम फ्राम अ बास्केट ऑफ लेट से आई वुड कॉल इट बकेट नंबर वन विच हैज लेस वॉलेटाइल असेट दैट्स वेर यू शुड डू फ्राम इफ द मार्केट इज डूइंग बैडली राइट नाउ द मार्केट इज हाई आई मीन सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सिक्स सिक्सटी और समथिंग इज द सेंस सो इट्स अ ग्रेट टाइम टू बी विड्रॉइंग मनी फ्रॉम इक्विटी ऑल्सो सो यू कुड एदर विल पिक अ लम्प सम फ्रॉम इक्विटी एंड पुट इट इन टू योर बकेट नंबर वन विच इज गॉट लेस लेस वॉलेटाइल असेट्स और यू कुड से एवरी मंथ आई नीड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज सो आई विल विदड्रॉ फ्रॉम माई इक्विटी फंड दैट्स ऑल्सो फाइन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द साइज ऑफ योर फंड एक्सेट्रा इट डजेंट रियली मैटर बिकॉज यू गोइंग टू पे वेरी लिटिल टैक्स ऑन दैट सो सो हियर इज समबडी यू सेज आई डिड अ वीडियो ऑन शुड यू रिमूव मनी फ्रॉम योर स्मॉल कैप फंड सो समबडी सेज आई रिमूव सिक्सटी परसेंट फ्रॉम एच डी एफ सी स्मॉल कैप लुक यू कैन लुक वेरी स्मार्ट इफ स्मॉल कैप कम्स डाउन एंड यू कैन लुक वेरी डम इफ स्मॉल कैप गोज अप दैट्स वॉट आई एम सेंग बी रेडी फॉर इट डोंट से ओ आई हर्ड यू एंड आई रिमूव मनी एंड नाउ द मार्केट इज गॉन अप आई एम परफेक्टली पॉसिबल दैट द मार्केट विल गो अप अ फ्यू मंथ्स अगो अ फ्रेंड केम एंड ही सेड आई एम बाइंग अ हाउस फॉर एन एक्स अमाउंट and uh, my take was very simple since you are still in employment and you got about 8 9 years to go i think you should still borrow because the market has some steam left but he his wife said no we have got so much appreciation portfolio let us book the profits and buy without uh, selling the uh, without uh, bo- making any borrowing both are right both schemes are right so if you want uh, if you have a portfolio of say 50 60 crores and you want 27 crores or 25 crores to buy a house or you have uh, something like 50 lakhs and you are willing to put 27 lakhs down payment to buy a house everything it's a great time to be exiting some of your portfolios uh, good or bad or whatever and using it for the way you want to use it to right so i like your channel for this amazing video and uh, sir with huge respect don't say i don't know and uh, i don't i have no, i'm not i don't have a clue i have no idea i am not sure please understand i made all my money in equity because i was not sure whenever i bought some share and i was very confident i would also buy a counter right so it's not that i thought oh it is going to do well so i would put all my money in it no i did not i also bought in 2003 4 4 i also was invested in fmcg and faba companies which did not participate till 2007 and even in 2007 i did not sell all the shares which had done very well i sold some portions of it i'm still happy with what i sold but i'm still saying so i don't know at every stage of my life i'm very uncertain and that is bound to come out in my video if you think you want to hear perfect answers like oh this is the best time to be putting in mid cap fund or small cap fund no you will not get such uh, answers uh, yes should you be selling your equity to buy a house now i don't know 6 months ago a uh, friend's wife did it right and now, now the portfolio has gone up you could have if you had borrowed you would have sold less so all these there are no fixed chances which are right or wrong and 20 years later he may be right especially if the market crashes today right so thanks for explanation appreciate and if you have no clue you ah uh, this is somebody who says if you have no clue you should not be making any videos you have a choice i will continue to make videos you have a choice whether to watch it right there are so many videos in the world uh, you can choose uh, his name is manoj suri manoj suri 9859 If I, if I have no clue you should not be making any videos thank you manoj uh, now you can decide uh, whether to watch uh I always wonder why you recommend only small four or five mutual funds max in our portfolio. Uh, well, I say that, but I do something different. <coughs> Sorry, 
I have 12 schemes in one uh, one uh, mutual fund. I've said I've made a video saying why I'm what I say is more important than what I do. What I do suits me. What you what suits you is what you have to do. Don't listen to every video of mine and try to copy. It's not possible, right? Not worth it also. That I can assure you. So one more, uh, the more thing which I have to add is people keep asking me whether I am a financial advisor. I am not a registered investment advisor, so I am not allowed to give you any advice. Uh, so, but I can uh, connect you to somebody who is in, who is doing PMS, who is doing mutual funds. Some of those connections I can make for you. Uh, but personally, I don't do so. If you you have a choice whether to uh, seek that advice from me as to whom to connect with, that also I'm not very good at. I know maybe one or two people whom I can trust. Uh, will I make a list of people who are great financial service providers? Uh, no, I don't think so. I know some of them, uh, and uh, some of them are really bad. So <laughs> there is no way I want to talk about them. Uh, and I don't think uh, the f fee that this char charge can be a reason to choose uh, either ways, right? Uh, when I go out to eat, I don't look for the cheapest place where food is available. I look for a place where I like uh, going. So I, I would not be driven by money alone. I would be driven by the fact whether I respect that person. Like my own financial advisor, I have tremendous amount of respect for him. So I have a financial advisor, I have a broker. I have a lot of respect for them and therefore I go to them. Yes, of course, they charge a fee, but to me, I think it is worthwhile. Uh, do I do it? I don't do it. Do, um, will I uh, review your portfolio and say this company, this uh, fund house is good, that fund house is not good? No, I don't want to be in the public domain doing that, right? So privately, maybe I'll do it for some people, but if you send me a portfolio, very unlikely that I will do a portfolio analysis and send, tell you what I'm doing. Yes, uh, or what uh, what my view is, but sometimes I may publicly uh, talk about it without, of course, revealing your name. So that is the only possibility. There is no chance of you getting a personal feedback saying this portfolio is good, that portfolio is good. Yes, if somebody says I've got a big lump sum, what should I do? My immediate action would be to put it into uh, ultra short bond fund and liquid fund, depending on when you want the money, and giving giving yourself maybe. 10 days, 15 days, one month, uh, then deciding the asset allocation. So something broadly like this, I'm willing to say. Uh, but other than that, I'm not willing to say anything. So you uh, fund managers have fiduciary responsibility, review my portfolio. No, I don't do that. Uh, then uh, are you an investment advisor? No, I am not. So. Uh, then somebody is asked, uh, please inform how you are doing charity. If you scroll down, I have said how I help uh, or I do t with two, three uh, uh, charitable organizations and one of them, Aid India, I have given some contact details. So you can have a look at that. Uh, that's it. Thank you.